What's up, guys? Azura here. Gonna be. I know it took me a while to get the build out, the build out, but you know, only the fifth milestone is you can uh, unlock the single stack companion gear, which we're gonna be using today. So for the race, I'm gonna be using the ACMR. You can use one with Elf. You can use Dragon Board. You can use Drow. The Drow. I don't think the Drow procs very often if you use the Vive Formation, but you can use it if you want it. Uh, for the Attributes are going to be using dexterity because I do need a critical severity. If you don't, you go with charisma and wisdom is mandatory. For the gear, I'm going to be using the Pulsar Helm that you get from Advanced uh, Moon Dancer Defense. Uh, this is by far the best helmet. It gives 12% critical strike. However, if you die for some reason, you're not able to regain the stacks anymore. So don't die. <laughs> and if you don't want to go for that, you don't want to risk it, you can go back to this helmet that gives 10% critical strike from the Master Demo Epids. I don't like this helmet at all, guys. You don't get 10% critical strike, guys. I'm telling you. Even with the Warlock, I could only get 6, 8 stacks, man. 6 stacks most of the time. And yeah, and the Warlock has 2 heal over times. The Paladin, you have to... And I was trying to get that 10 stacks, but so I don't like this at all. You can use the, the other one that gives a stray five, which is great. You can use the, the one that gives a... This one is great as well, guys. I'm gonna get, you get this from the invasions, and it's an increase in 5% outgoing healing. That goes above the cap, guys. You, I know you're going to be taken and coming healing hit, but it's only yourself. It's only yourself. You should be able to live well, with less incoming healing, guys. So you can use that as well. It goes if you want the absolute best healing you can. You have gotta use this helmet because it goes above the cap. You could use the ray catcher. It's pretty good. There's an upgrade version of, of it on the Demon Web uh, Pits Hunts. It's a 1900 item level one. And I think that covers the helmets. You can use also the the regen one that you get from the Mtos. And the legendary version apparently it stacks with the boots the new boots so yeah where's that i'm gonna be using the this one all right hopefully they fixed it. hope hopefully it's a bug and they fix the thing right. if you die you don't get it anymore for the chest piece i'm still using the master demo weapons one and get outgoing healing we get critical strike for me and my teammates so it's we help them out if you don't have this you can go back with the one for the hunts it's not quite the same you get the same amount of outgoing healing but uh we get fourth in instead and the the, the teammates get uh, have uh, will have uh will get afforded as well however it does not stack with the shirt it has the same effect and the same value it shouldn't stack and it does not another one you can use is the one from the advanced income and you get outgoing healing six percent the thing is it's higher item level the thing is you lose the support that you give for the other players and as soon as you take damage you no longer get six percent so i don't like it i'll stick with the one from the master demon weapons for the arms you can i'm using the one that increase that increases the divinity guys that does not increase the regen increases the divinity i know it doesn't say anything in the two tip but uh, it's bugged, it's wrong. Uh, you get performance, so Eve, and then it's written Soul Spark. Soul, Soul Spark is technically the Warlock again, but you know, it's Divinity. Uh, you, if you don't have this, you can use the, the Critical Strike one, you can use the Power one still, it's the most efficient one, efficient one. But remember, we got a pretty huge item level uh, difference now, so we want to try to be using the the higher iron level stuff. For the weapons, I generally stick with the wild space stuff if you're running the trial. It's the highest iron level one. I'm capping all my stats with those weapons here. Uh, I'm using Scratch Soup, I'm using Wildstorm Elixir, and a Flask of Potency. So, if I'm capping with this one, which is the best in slot for wild space, hopefully we're going to be getting a dungeon in wild space, so we're going to be using that as well for the increasing heals we get. Uh, but if you don't want to use it, don't have or don't want to use it, you, it's fine. You can use the Master Demon, uh, the, the Master Crafting ones, and it should be capping as well. 
maybe a l you're gonna be have to adjust adjust some of the ratings, but yeah, should be very close to cap. And if you use the perfect weapons, it's gonna be even easier. You can even drop the this quest soup that I mentioned. For the boots, I'm gonna be using the regen ones uh, that gives 25% regen. That's the best in slot. If you don't have that, you can still use the ones from the last module, 10% outgoing healing. You can get the one from advanced that gives 5% outgoing healing. You can get the one from the master do more weapons that gives 5,500 outgoing healing. The forte is great as well, but the best in slot right now is the boots. And uh, there's also the new chess piece I think I have right here that gets 10,000 outgoing healing. So you cannot use the same, you cannot use the 10,000 outgoing healing chess piece with the boots. You can only use one. For the right side, guys, I'm still running the debuffs. I don't see people running the debuffs anymore, guys. Why? I, I still can reach the iron level required for playing the game, so I'm I'm gonna still use the debuffs. V stunning, it's the best one to use in the in the paladin. You just have to use one divide from nation, get a debuff from the V stunning. It's a five percent and the grace ring. They don't contribute me contribute to my capping in any in any way, shape, or form. Not even the ratings. Look at the ratings. Combat advantage, man. It doesn't help me at all. So if you don't want to go use the debuffs, you can go with the new set. Just remember to pick the right one. Go with the 6% 6 wisdom one to get more outgoing healing. You're going to be capping your stats way easier, guys. Way easier if you don't run the what? If you don't run the debuffs like the Vistani and Grace. If you don't want to use Grace, you can use the new ring, which is the... This that gives 5 percent critical strike is a great one. You can use the... Dominance that gives 5% outgoing healers one. This is stacks with the shirt because apparently it's the same effect but is a different value. So as you can see, we have two grateful graceful harmony there. So it stacks. Opal ring for an additional AOE heals. I'm gonna be using the shirt for more outgoing healing, which is the best one. If you're using, uh, for example, the chest piece here that gives the graceful harmony of the same value, you probably want to go back to the old 5% outgoing healing one because they don't stack. Just be aware of that, what stacks or not. And for the shirt, uh, for the pants, I'm gonna be using the one that gives 5% power, 5% defense. You just have to be away from the one person of the group. So it, it's going to be fine. You're going to be proccing that a lot. It's going to be up 100% of the time, especially in the trial. For the enhancement, I'm, on the offense, I'm using two jades, one garnet, one cabal, and a utility, I'm using the jade for the outgoing healing. In the defense one, you don't have to use anything, guys. You don't have to, you don't have to use the same the ones that I use here. You can use whatever you have. For the overload, we do need Devil's Precision, and the other one is up to you, man. I don't think this one works. I don't think that one increases the 10% healing. I just have so much of it, so I'm, I'm using it. You can use Action Points, although Action Points are not useful in the Paladin because the daily suck. Uh, so if you don't want to run anything here, you can just don't run it. You can use a defensive one here, ward for yourself. If you're playing with something like the Demon Weapons, you should be running uh, the Demon Ward to help everyone get the damage reduction, but it's fine. For the combat, you're going to be using Lightning Flash for the temp the 7.5 critical strike, and the bonus one, you're going to be getting the, the movement speed one. You can use the recharge speed, you can use the action point, I just think that movement speed is a little more helpful because the pound is quite slow and uh, we don't have the don't have a dodge, we don't have a roll, we just have a block. So it's good to have movement speed so we can get away of stuff instead of trying to block it. What about boons, we got some significant changes in boons guys. So for the guild stronghold one I'm using power. Uh, I'm using the defense one. Utility, I'm using Reviver Sickness. It can be useful to have the Group Heal Potion as well if you want to do the buffing then with the with the potion booms that we I'm going to be showing next. 
For the campaign ones, I'm going to be using power, critical strike, power, critical severity, defense, movement speed, lingering medicine, more power, awareness, uh, more lingering fortification, power, lingering power, and advanced moves are going to be taken as much as I can. Forte, outgoing healing being the main ones, and you go recharge speed and action point. I don't even have the action point full yet. And for the master booms, you're going to be taking a blast advantage. That helps you and the, uh, and the DPS. And that blast resilience to help the tanks and the survivability of everyone if they are using it. So probably the, only the tanks benefit from that, but it's fine. You benefit yourself as well. Talking about blast advantage, guys, we get 6% uh, power, and that procs very often, guys. So if you want to take a hit on your power uh, just to make use of this, you can, because this procs fairly often, guys. Uh, as I said, if you want to use the group potion thing, and in conjunction with the rejuvenation potion, if you keep... If you keep uh, drinking the potion whenever it's available, we're gonna be proccing all of this, all of this. The one that gives the, the potion that has the heal over time effect, the rejuvenation one. You're gonna be proccing all of that in all the group if they have this uh, on their booms list. If they have this, so it's an option as well. You're gonna get an additional heal. The potion is not that strong, but it, it, it's helpful to have. You're gonna get uh, a little more heals. And again, the blast advantage is proccing fairly easy on you. I'm gonna show you. It's procced. Okay, it procs. You can try to. Uh, let's see if I can refresh it. Probably not. If you have a a heal over time on a group, it's gonna be way easier, guys. Yeah, you, you can build around that. I don't build around that. I don't even use the power that I get from the from the forger's box so if you have that you can count that in for your whole stats as well i don't count it because i don't have it at full and uh, if you die you lose it so there's two things you can use it and uh yeah if we're getting power from that boom six percent power that that means we don't need the portal bell that i always run with so Although I always build my, build around Portobello, you don't need Portobello if you're using the boom. So for the companions, I always use Portobello, guys, for the 3.5% 3, 3 power. And the DPS will get 3.5 combat advantage, guys. Companion gear, it took me a while, guys, but I got it. Three outgoing healers, single stat ones. Uh, it's going to get a lot better for you if you farm those ones, guys. Because, you know, ratings are pretty easy to come by all but the outgoing healing ones so if you you know grind it and get this one i'm sure it's gonna be useful for you so it takes a while but it's it's the it's the best one to use it guys for the enhancement i'm gonna be using any debuff ones you can use vulnerability if you're in a dungeon you want to using dual senses it's the second best after the hour break and if you're in a trial guys and you have Portobello, you are the one that protects the tank. And if, if you see the tank is struggling a little bit, or if you want to give him a little more protection, you can use, I think this one comes from Portobello, guys. Portobello himself. You can use Advantage Nullification, guys. This reduces the combat advantage of the enemy. The boss, if you don't know, the boss always has combat advantage on the tank corner whoever he's attacking. So this will reduce the damage on the boss. If you want to use this on a try, it will help your tank survive. You can use that. For the companions, I uh, do have the bullet, the wolf. I know it's pretty expensive. I got this from the 50k character item level boost. If you can buy it from other players, it's quite expensive as well. Uh, we got the raptor and the compi in quick win for the mounts 
same as last uh, last time. The, the the thing is, is that I have to invest it in some outgoing healing uh, insignias. As you see, I got three insignias of the rhythm, and one of them is on the booster. I do need this to cap this, guys. So I, I have you have to buy this insignia from the uh, Demon Web Pete's campaign and upgrade it to Mythic. For the bonus, I'm using Shepherd Devotion. It's questionable if you need the Shepherd's Devotion or not. I don't. Uh, yeah, I I might change this in the future. I don't know. You can uh, Lion Heart's Perseverance is great for helping you survive. Great Gladiator's Ghoul is great for the movement speed. Magistrate is patient. I'm patiently waiting this for the Force Love Mount guy. This is a great man. Whenever you do a critical heal, you get the defensive buff for everyone. So this is great. I'm waiting for the Force Love Mount to have this. And Mentor's Covenant for uh, more offensive stats, including outgoing healing. If you wanna, you can use two of those, two Mentor's Covenant to get some even more outgoing healing. You can drop the Shepherd's Devotion. You can drop the Lion Heart. You can use uh, to need more stats. You can use Assassin's Covenant. You're not gonna get outgoing healing out of it. You can use one of this to help more uh, to get more uh, offensive stats if you need. You can use uh, I think it's uh, Survivalist Expertise. You get five cent forte. However, if you die, the the sickness to get it stronger. You can mitigate the effect with the with the boom from the guild, the revive sickness boom. Mounts, I'm gonna be using. Uh, we can use. We have the Fantastic Four, right, guys? We have the Bat Swarm, T Rex, Eclipse, and Pegasus. That's the one you should have. The Aura, you're gonna have to use Mystic Aura, Runic Aura, or Pack Tactics, guys. That's all uh, you gotta have. Well, for the power, guys, I'm gonna be using Cure Wounds and Divide from Nature for proccing the. The debuffs we have encounter gonna be using sacred weapon, divine shelter, and serpent of divinity. If you feel like you don't need that much regen, you can drop circle of divinity or sacred weapon and then go for you know add control for burning light, banishment, or even more heals with the new bond of virtue. The bond of virtue does not consume uh, divinity, so kind of that's pretty decent to be fair. For the dailies. Usually, most of the time, you're going to be using Shield of Faith to reduce the enemies you take in and uh, increase the heals if you want to use them for no particular reason your daily. And for specific situations, you're probably going to be want to use Sanctuary for for the heal over time, for the damage decrease. And uh, yeah, but people has to have to be together. Lay, lay on hands is very situational. I don't like it. It should be a preventive power, but it only heal the person after uh, the damage, so I don't see it. It's very useful. For the class feature, since we can only use one aura, the other options, the other option is probably going to be composure. It's mandatory for the definite region. I don't see another one that is useful here. And for the auras, aura of restoration. Incoming healing, guys, is another outgoing healing, basically. It's another multiplier. And since people don't really have much, I'd say people have around 30, 40, uh, the DPS and the healer, at least. And since people don't have that much, the 10% you get here, it's probably a 10% increase in our heals. It's better than what you would get from uh, Hour of Life, which is another instance of heal with a 50 magnitude, which is not great. That incoming heal works for the shield and for the heal. So uh, technically, it should be a little higher than the extra heal you get here. But if for some reason you want to you know, focus more on the healing part, or of life, it's better than the aura of restoration. Other than that, or of wrath for the 4% critical strike. Although, uh, if you're running with the tank, the paladin, usually the tank runs this to support the group so but you can use that to cap your stats if you need it although incoming healing it's going to increase the heals even more it's better for the feet we're going to use shelter re healing for increasing the effect of cool wounds whenever the person has a divine barrier so the thing you're going to do is uh, you're going to cast divine shelter 
Yeah, really fast, aim at the person and use Kugun, Kugun's, your at will, to heal them. It gonna, the, the effectiveness is going to be increased, and uh, I think it has some animation cancel going on. It's really fast, guys. So just use Divine Shelter, use Kugun's, the person is full, and the DPS is full. It's really good. And for the second one, you're going to use Battle Focus. It's the safest bet. You can definitely go for the Prey of Opportunity. Yeah, especially if you know you're going to be using a lot of the, a lot of the lay on hands, but uh, if not, I think the safest bet still better focus for the defender regen. This, of course, is going to save you some resources, but only if you're using them a lot. In the trial, you are using, but other than the trial, I don't think you're going to be using it a lot. So the face, the safest option, still better focus, in my opinion. For the uh, the for the that's the only option you can get for more divinity on the sake of weapon. Four feet, up to you. I go with the, mm, the f increased effectiveness of the lay on hands. However, I don't really use lay on hands that, that much. But yeah, it's better than the convalescence, I think. It's, it, th this is kind of pointless to me. But for the last feat, I'm going to be using MCR warning for the increased effectiveness of the shields. You can definitely go for this one, but I still think this is the strongest and safest option. And that's it for the video, guys. I, I'm going to put in the description anything that uh, I might have missed or have gone too fast. And uh, the consumables and everything. And that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. Say, take care. See you later.